I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto with filmmaker Johnny Ma. How does it feel to have your film A Grand Canal at TIFF? Oh, it's uh, it's amazing. It's really great. You know, I'm super happy to be here. I got here yesterday at 5 a.m. and we've just been going nonstop. So, uh, and it's good to see old friends like yourself. You know, thanks to that. So, it's nice. What was your reaction when you got the news? Uh, I was, to be honest, I was relieved. You know, because we shot the film and we knew that this would be the place to uh, sort of premiere it and take uh, show it to the world. And it's a, it's a, it's a different kind of film. It's a risky film that some people uh, you either love it or you hate it so uh, we weren't sure you know if the programmers we like it because if they don't then uh, we have to go to plan b which is uh, you know when, when it's not tiff uh, what else is it, you know? so, so we were i was relieved but also extremely happy and uh, uh, that the programmers uh, is going to uh, take a chance on this film what do you think it is about the film that makes it so risky uh, th there are decisions that are made in the film, I think, that pushes the boundary of what cinema potentially could do. Mm -hmm. And also, it kind of opens up a, a door of discussions uh, of cinema in general and also into potentially um, the filmmakers behind cinema. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, you know, I had I even had one programmer uh, who's a close friend during the rough cut process tell me that if I do something like this, I'm going to ruin my film, you know. So it was a it was a constant battle, um, but the, I knew that when we showed a film uh, to a you know in a rough cut stage to about thirty people, and we had them just arguing with each other, and you know I, the, I think the craziest reaction I had was this girl, she a filmmaker, you know, she said, oh my god, I you know after the film I wanted to hug you, and you know after we'd had discussions, she says now I want to punch you in the face, <laughs> you know, so so it was kind of. Um, yeah, so it's you know it's certainly a film that hope it gets people talking and hopefully thinking about it okay. for a while. What's at the heart of the story? Uh, at the very heart of the story, it's it's about a father and son. So that's something that even though it's shot in China, I think it's something that everyone um, can relate to. Mm -hmm. And um, it's about a son's tribute to his father. Essentially, it's about him trying to remember something that's happened before, and uh, potentially you know cinema was the tool to kind of to kind of cement this memory. What was it like shooting on location in China? Oh my God, man, it's crazy. It's like, last year I was here talking about Brazil, right? You know, yeah. so, but China is another another way of, you know, I, okay, every time I make a film, I seem to get skinnier, but in China, I just get fatter because like all you do is you eat and drink and entertainment, and like that's all you, you do. Like we had, um, if they like you, they're going to want to work with you. And, if they don't, I mean, you could have Hollywood money, and and you would still have a terrible, like, difficult time shooting there. Mm -hmm. So we luckily we could handle our alcohol, and mm -hmm. you know we could, uh, yeah, you know, and it was just so we were on friends friendly terms with them, and everything opened up. How did you go about casting the project? Um, yeah, the, the way we work um, is a little different. Me and my friends, uh, we have a collective in New York called uh, Gone Rogue Production, and essentially we started off with Brazil, where all of us sort of took off, went there, and decided to shoot a film. And we wrote our stories, but when we got to the location, we sort of burned those scripts. Mm -hmm. And we started new, sort of looking for stories from the people that we meet on the streets, essentially. And that came off, uh, I mean, we learned from that experience, and I wanted to continue that in China. So um, I originally wrote, I, I knew I wanted to go to a sort of water canal uh, town, and so I started looking for one. But once I got there, um, the original script that I wrote was more along the lines of sort of Hemingway's Old Man and the Sea kind of story. Mm -hmm. I, I just threw that away and um, and I just started hanging out and trying to meet these uh, the people from that town. And, you know, so that story, I certainly could have never written that here. You know, the music and the, you know, the things that in that, in that film are things that I don't know it before I went to that town. I sort of learned uh, because I was there for about four months, uh, three, three, four months kind of just learning about those people. So when I came here for TIFF, I was actually, I took a break from it. And so coming here was a good, nice kind of relief. And when we went back, we sort of went straight into it and knowing what exactly what we needed to do. And what are you hoping that audiences take away from the film? Um, I hope they're, I, I just hope that they're, t uh, 
they 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 feel something, you know, mm -hmm. something like it doesn't matter because I think that uh, you know the worst reaction they can have to a film is like nah, you know, and then move on to lunch and things like that. <laughs> but, but I think that uh, you know, hopefully, whether they hate it or they love it, um, is just something that they'll they'll hopefully want to talk about, and and we and that's something that I think is a, is a very powerful thing that. Um, you know, I don't think you can really plan it. You know, we certainly didn't know that would be the kind of reaction from it. But mm -hmm. we we did we did screen it in front of a, a sort of a bigger audience in New York, uh, sort of uh, as a part of this sort of school showcase, and it was kind of amazing. So all the debates that we we're talking about, you know, the hating or loving it, but somehow in the live live audience, uh, you know, when it's when the emotion is really going through the audience, it kind of just sweeps away all the negativity, and you know, it's kind of I I actually find it more interesting to watch. Uh, the audience when you know when that's actually happening and you could feel it it's 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 electrifying you know and where is the best place to find out more information on you and on the film online yeah um it's a t t tiff tiff has a website but also i have a website it's called www.johnnymucktubefilms.com so mm -hmm. i don't update it very often so but i you know i can you can find us on facebook and you know find all the information about uh, the backgrounds of the story i mean in my opinion that's also a, an interesting place to start Thank you so much, Johnny. It was lovely seeing you again, and best of luck with the film. Yeah, and also, uh, you know, I hope you get some lunch now, right? <laughs> Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.